how the crankshaft, connecting rod and piston are lubricated. Before I explain what all of these parts do, let's start with why they need to be lubricated. Friction is a force that resists the movement of one surface over another. It can be reduced but never fully removed. This is where lubrication comes in. Inside the engine, we have moving parts which cause friction. The explosion of the fuel and air mixture pushes the piston down and it transfers this force via the connecting rod to the crankshaft. The connecting rod transfers the force from the piston to the crankshaft and acts as a lever arm. The crankshaft is a metal rod with specially positioned counterweights that translate the engine's motion to the motion required, for example the rotational motion of a gearbox of a car. Now let's talk about how it's done. Oil is scooped up from the sump by a dipper which is attached to the end cap of the connecting rod and splashed onto the various moving parts at a high speed. The crankshaft is connected to the connecting rod with bearings. If these bearings are not lubricated sufficiently, then the crankshaft sits on the bearing itself and not on the layer of oil, resulting in friction and causing the bearing to melt onto the crankshaft. The piston has to move up and down inside the sleeve with as little friction as possible. To do this, the oil is splashed onto the sleeve and spread onto the walls, creating a layer of oil. The rings on the piston prevent the oil from going into the combustion chamber. If oil was allowed through, it would mix with the air fuel mixture, resulting in smoke out the exhaust and a burning smell of fuel. Let's hear about it from an expert. Lubrication is absolutely vital for the modern day internal combustion engine. It helps to reduce friction between all moving parts and therefore makes the engine more efficient and reduces heat buildup. Thank you for your attention. I hope you slide through the rest of your day.